Good evening. Hello, class. How are you? Fine, thank you. And you, Jim? I'm okay. I don't know what's wrong with my camera. Oh, I'll come in. Yeah, I don't know what's wrong. Hold on, give me one second. Okay. All right, class. How are you? How are you? How are you, everyone? Fine. Fine. Thank you, teacher. How was your your Thursday today? Hi. Thank you. Can't complain. Yeah. Everything okay? In your place, uh, the weather is very hot or no? Yes. Yeah, um, I, I, I think that very big storm later next. I hope so. I hope so because it was it's very hot today. Yeah. All right, so remember we did this, right? A mistake, a situation. Well, we did some of this, analyze, find, organize, make. Right? So the non-defining relative clauses is also what we did yesterday, I believe. Yeah. Remember like tomorrow is Friday, is payday. It's vacation. It's traffic day. Which means there will be a lot of traffic. It's crash day too. Is what? Crash day too. What, what are you... our, our people are crazy, driving crazy. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, definitely. <laughs> okay, so let's do. Let's finish this knowledge check four point ten. Number four ten is the number one, the last, which means I have to get back to for them. Yeah, oh, hold on. Wait, wait one second. Hey, what happened? Wait, wait, wait. Well, no, the platform is a lot, it's, it's very slow. My internet's very slow today. No, the platform is a slow. It is, huh? Yes. Okay, I thought it was my internet. <laughs> okay, so it says here, instructions. Make the statements which the appropriate non-defining, um, with the appropriate non-defining class. I want to give away um, all my oh. books. The answer is which means I Last have one. to get boxes for them. Mean I have to get boxes for them. Very good. Yeah, which means I have to get boxes for them. Number two, I had locked my keys in my car. What does that mean? The last one is which is my First wife? One. Would you solve me open it if with a cut hanger? Coat hanger. Cut hanger. Code hanger, yes. Number three, I'm going to repaint my room next week. The answer is which, which is, is why I'm saving all newspaper. Saving all newspaper. <clears throat> all right, good. My son made a robot costume for himself. This is why he was covered in aluminum I mean, foil, foil yesterday. yesterday. Foil yesterday. All right. Our neighbor saves her empty and jars for my dad. Number He's great since he uses them to store knives. One, 
things in this workroom. You know, I do that. I collect jars. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I store many I, and it's true I have nails in them <laughs> my new cell phone can store and play music imagine this how old is... <laughs> this example is yeah. which is going because I can listen to because I, I can on listen the to it by, um, on the subway in the subway good Number seven, it's easy to get lost when driving in a new city. Which is why it's personal, personal nav navigator system yeah. were developed for cars. Were developed cars. The GPS, right? Yeah. Adam still listens to music on an old-fashioned old record player. player. Which is strange like since cassette and CDs have been around, around for so long. For now. So long. No. All right. Yep, we got them all right. Okay, so let's do the last part and this part, the listening. Instructions, listen to a news report, then choose the correct answer. So let me... Let me share my sound. Can you hear? Yes. All right. yes. Our technology report this evening is on making the world a smaller place. Linda? Thanks, Ted. These days, with college students studying in different cities or even abroad, families spread all over the world, and even more office employees working with overseas companies, people are looking for better ways to communicate with each other. Many people already use video calling with family, friends, and business associates, and as this technology continues to improve, even more people will be using this helpful communication tool. It used to be that video calling meant seeing unclear faces, hearing bad audio, and losing the internet connection. Now, the images are sharp, the sound is clear, and people stay connected for the entire call. People can communicate with each other as if they were in the same room, even though they are in faraway places. Additionally, video calling isn't just for computers. Many people are using video calling apps with their smartphones, making it even easier to connect anywhere, anytime. With this technology, the world gets smaller and smaller. Don't you think that's a good thing, Ted? I sure do. Thanks, Linda. This has been our technology report. All right. The woman says that more people blank to communicate online. Are you using video calling? Are you using video calling? Yes. More people are able to use video calling because... The software has been improved. Good. Do you remember when um, <clears throat> when WhatsApp started with video? Like six years ago, everybody was, wow. No, I don't remember. <laughs> yeah. Because WhatsApp, remember. WhatsApp before, well, it was, only, it was only chat. It was only instant messaging. You couldn't call or video. Only Microsoft Messenger. Yeah, it was only Messenger. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next it says, uh, older, video calling, uh, older video calling had problems such as? Concrete audio. Unclear audio. 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 Unclear audio. Okay. Today's video calling feature? Clear sound, sound and speech. Okay. Do you know what is pitch? No. no. What do you mean? It's como tono, a clear pitch. Agudo. Yeah, un tono. Mm -hmm. okay. Like a pitch perfect. And fuzzy faces? Fuzzy faces is like, remember sometimes you used to do video calls and the face used to fuzz? Like, look at my hand right now. 
one by one. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Okay, let's listen to part two now. Okay. Hi, Jenny. Please sit down. What can I do for you today? Well, I'm graduating soon, and I just can't seem to choose a career path to follow. I'm interested in so many things. That's a good thing. It means you have more choices. Now, I know that you're a person who is disciplined and motivated. Am I right? Yes. I like to work, and I'm good at budgeting my time. And let's see. You studied history and politics. Good. What about extracurricular activities? Well, I wrote some articles for the college newspaper, and last summer I volunteered at an archaeological site. That was fascinating. What did you do exactly? I helped tag the items that were found and enter them into a computer database. There was a lot of information to organize. So you are someone who is organized. Great. And you have a lot of patience. Yes, I would say so. An archaeological dig is not very exciting. It's interesting, but there's a lot of waiting and watching. Well, Jenny, have you considered being a reporter? You seem to enjoy writing, and your background matches up very well. I did enjoy writing for the college newspaper, but do you think I have the right qualities? Reporters need to be disciplined and motivated, like you. And your background in history and politics means you're informed about the world around you. Hmm, it seems like a good idea. I think you'd make an excellent reporter, and I have the names of a few local reporters for you to contact. You could talk to a few of them and maybe spend a day with one of them. You know, see what it's like. That sounds great. I'd love to do that. Here you go, and good luck. Keep me posted on your progress, okay? Okay, thanks. Okay, Jenny is disciplined and motivated to work. True or false? True. 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 Yes. Jenny majored in history and politics. False. 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 Jenny has never written for newspapers before. False. False. Jenny thinks archaeology is exciting. True. True. Her counselor wants her to try news reporting. True. True. All right, let's submit this. Cool. We're, oh, we're doing good. Complete the sentences. Instructions. Complete the sentences with the passive of the verbs in parentheses. Just type in the verbs in the correct form. No capital letter or period is needed. In the future, more online courses blank by people with busy schedules. Will be taken. Uh, I'm going will to be, be taken. Will be taken. Will be taken. Is, did you put taken or you put will be taken? Will, will be, be taken. Will be put, taken. Will be. I'm going to be taken. Mm -hmm. Okay, both are clear. Okay. Uh, I can't. Sure. Oh, yeah. I can't shut down my computer until all my files blank download. Have been downloaded. Have been downloaded. <laughs> Excellent. These days, chat rooms blank by universities to host students' discussions. Are being used. used. Are being used. Yes. yes, are being used. Sam blank his dream job at the internet um, farming company. Has been offered. Has been offered. Has been offered. When I buy a new laptop, my old one, blank, recycle. With buy, With recycle. recycle. Since blogging software became available, millions of blogs have been have created. Been created. Have, been created. Have, been created. have been created. Next, tag questions. You remember tag questions, don't you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, instructions. Read the sentences and add a tag question at the end of each sentence. No capital letter is needed. 
Do not forget to add a question mark. It would be great if someone figured out how to eliminate spam. Wouldn't, wouldn't it? Wouldn't it? Wouldn't it? Wouldn't it? Wouldn't it? It seems like kids spend way too much time playing on computer games. Doesn't it? Doesn't it? Doesn't it? Pero qué pasa cuando me tocan el teclado y le cambian idioma? Doesn't it? Those infomercials, uh, those infomercials, infomercials on TV are so annoying. Are they? Aren't they? Aren't they? Aren't they? Aren't they? Aren't they? Flyers aren't good for advertising. Uh, for advertising. Are, are they? Are they? Are they? I hate getting spams. Don't you? Don't you? Don't I? Don't you? Don't you, Lepuso? Yeah. Yes. Don't you? Don't you forget about me? I'll be alone. Okay, next it says rewrite the sentences using reduced See? relative clauses. Remember to use capital letters and periods. A person who is willing to work with sick people could be a good nurse. A person, a person willing, willing to work, work with sick people could be a good nurse. The nurse. Yeah. Number one. So it says here, yes, a person willing to work with sick people could be a good nurse or person willing to work with sick people could be a good nurse. Yeah. This is not correct. This is not correct. Because here it says, it's saying a person. So it's talking about one person. So here it should say people, people willing to work with sick people could be, a, uh, could be good nurses. Okay. Someone who's looking for a paid vacation shouldn't be a small business owner. Someone looking for a paid Someone vacation looking for should be a small Someone business looking. owner. Shouldn't be, okay. Shouldn't be. You know, sometimes I do this, I copy paste and I still get them wrong. <laughs> okay. Someone looking for paid for okay. oh, we did. Anyone who has good voice, a good voice, is invited to audition for the core. Anyone with a good voice invited for audition Anyone for the show. Core. Core. It's core. Uh -huh. I know that you read chore, but it's actually it's core. It's core. Like even a chorus. Without age. Exactly. Chorus. Core. Anyone with a good voice is invited to audition for the core. Someone who is interested in art history might love to work in a museum. Someone interested in, interest in art history. In art my, history. I love to work in a museum. Might love to work in a museum. Okay. Uh, Let's see. We got them right. Yes, we got. Wow. Why? No. Well, I think it's the apostrophe. It's the different yes, character. Exactly. The apostrophe is. Another, another yeah. check. It's true, but but we you understand? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Instructions: Choose the words that best completes each sentence. 
People who work from themselves must be disciplined. Disciplined. This, what is the difference between discipline and disciplined? Do you know the difference? Maybe oh, disciplined is the past participle. In the past. Yes, and also it's an adjective. Discipline is a noun. Disciplined is an, is an adjective. Okay. Like, for example, I do not like Cristiano Ronaldo. I don't like him, but he is very disciplined. Okay. It takes blank to be a designer. Originality. 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 Good. I admire Tom. He is blank about to about what he does. Passionate. 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 He is passionate, yes. A technology company must blank to survive. Innovative. Innovative. Must be innovative. 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 <clears throat> Number five is a blank is a must if you want to be a manager. Decisiveness. 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 Do you know what decisiveness is? Decisiveness. To be a manager, you have to have good character because you a manager, you have to manage a team. So if somebody offers you, hey, you know, we like you. Do you want to be a manager? If you say, ah, let me think about it. I, I will tell you tomorrow. Oh, then the company is not looking for you. If you want to be a manager, you, you need to have decisiveness. You have to say, yes, I am interested. Yes, I want it. Decisiveness. Teaching requires a lot of blank. Patience. 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 A lot. <laughs> yes. Part two, instructions. Choose the word that best completes each sentence. Choosing a career path involves blank all the possibilities. Exploring. Exploring. Exploring, Exploring yes. Jen's job require her to blank information and report on it. Analyze. 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 Good. Everything was a mess until the managers finally blank solved. the problem. Solved. Solved. solved the problem. In accounting, it can be expensive to blank even the smallest mistake. Make. 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 Yes. Make. Sometimes it's easier to blank solutions to problems on your own. Fine. 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 Okay. A graphic artist generally blank information visually. Make. Make. Makes. Makes. Why am I not? In the first part. Did it complete on oh, no. oh, we got them all right. Good. And let me see the last. Reading instructions. Read Brett's blog. Entry. Then check if it's true or false. Can you read? Yes. All right. Who would like to read the first paragraph? Me. Okay, please read the first paragraph and you choose the next person to read the second paragraph, please. Okay. Thank you, go ahead. Uh, I also feel with, with the MT3 player with the tiny handphone, you can see I'm sick for trying to talk someone and getting a black stain. Would be a great if doesn't think we're banning at work at school. Okay, does everybody understand this paragraph? Does everybody understand the paragraph? 
Okay, I imagine yes. Nobody's saying anything. Can you? Who wants to read the second part, please? Me, teacher. Me okay, too. go ahead, please. Me? Yes. Okay. And I hate those wireless headsets for cell phones, don't you? I mean, when you are walking on the street and a stranger speaks as he passes you, don't you say, what? Only to realize he was talking on the phone. Then he looks at you like you're crazy. <laughs> okay, and let me read the last part. It says, and I can't stand watching people text messaging. Don't they know that it would make it would take three seconds to say what they're typing? It's, it's crazy, isn't it? Do you know the expression I can't stand? No, I can't support <laughs> support that. Exactly. Yes, that's what it is. Mm -hmm. I can't stand. Like, what is something you can't stand? I can't stand the slowly people. Slow people. The slow people. All right, good. I can't stand drunk people. Two drunk people. <laughs> there is some crazy drunk people. Yeah, I can't stand crazy drunk people. <laughs> Bad drunk people, I don't like. Yes. Okay, so let's do this. It says, instruction. Uh, oops. Brett hates talking to people using MP3 players, yes or no? True. 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 Okay, True. so we understand I can't stand this. No, no, que dijeron? True. No soporto, no tolero. I can't stand. What is fed up? Look at the first paragraph. It says, I am so fed up with MP3 players. What is fed up? Fed up. Uh, yeah, it's actually, estoy harto. It can be, it can okay. be from food or your situation. For example, here in my blog, the, everybody is fed up with the crazy cat lady. Or you can eat ten pupusas and you said, oh man, I'm fed up. It's like I'm full. I will never eat again in my life. <clears throat> Brett thinks that people who use wireless <clears throat> headset look like they're talking to themselves. True or false? True. 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 Brett <laughs> loves wireless headsets. False. 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 Brett enjoys text messaging his friends. False. False. Yeah, I want to see Brett now. I imagine now he texts. <laughs> he, he does everything that he hated. Okay, let's do number two. Who did the last reading? Got there, right? No. Okay. You did the last read? Oh, uh, Sarah did. Okay, um, Mayra Asensio, can you read the first paragraph, please? Are you there, Mayra, today? Are you there? I'm here, teacher. Okay, can you read the... the um... Let me try. Be... Let me try, okay. It's too small. Hold on, please. Okay. Graph aren't just for grandmothers anymore. Whereas, whereas mm, knitting and sewing used to be the work of family women. Young people everywhere are talking of grass as a way to express themselves. Gravity. Um, to take a stem against mass consumers. No ways, nowadays, you see fashionably dressed. 
young men and women gathering and cafes to sip coffee and sneak together. In other words, graph have become cool. Okay, can you, okay, um, very good. Now let's do one thing. Can you read every three sentence, every three words? Can you start again, please? Craft. Craft. No, but uh, hold on. Uh, w one example. Um, Mayra Asensio, please. But read. I, I want you to practice your fluency. So read the first three words, seguidos. Okay. Craft aren't just for grandmothers anymore. Very good. Can you read it one more time? Craft aren't just for grandmothers anymore. Very good. Whereas, whereas, ve que esa palabra no sabe qué es. Ah, uh, no. Okay, good. ¿Sabe por qué sé que no sabía qué es? Porque cuando alguien está leyendo y no entiende algo, ahí esa esa palabra va a destruir la oración que está leyendo. And the next. Too. Porque, I, ajá, I yes, and the next. Okay, I understand, I understand. Porque, lo, mire que bien lo dijo usted la primera. Crafts aren't just for grandmothers anymore. Good fluency. Pero aquí que se quedó, whereas knitting, le prometo que el resto de la oración lo va a leer así. Whereas knitting whereas. and sewing used to be. What is whereas? Mientras. Mientras, yes. What is knitting? Es como bordar, como, no, como tejer. Tejer, yes, yes, exactly. Whereas knitting and sewing used to be, uh, used to be the work of family women, young people everywhere are taking up craft as a way to express themselves creativity. Do you know what is take up crafts? What is take up? Do you know what take up is? No. No. Okay, you see, hay muchas palabras que no saben qué son y nadie me hizo una pregunta. Teacher, what does that mean? Yo solo simplemente me imagino que no saben qué es. But that's the problem. I don't know if you don't know. So you have to always ask, what is that? I by word, no. Crafts are pretty much manualidades. Uh -huh. Crafts. It's craft so you, or, or handicraft, you sure. It, it, handcraft is like a perfect explanation, handcrafts. Okay. The only difference is that kneading, yes, you do it with your hands, but you need, you need, um, sometimes you need more, you need um, tools. Okay. And sometimes you just make with your hand. Like, ¿cómo se llama eso de los chinos? Palillos. Ukunawi, Ukunagi, or something like that. Um, uh, I don't know. They make uh, floral arrangements. Yes, that's really se handcraft. Ikeba, something like Ikeba. Man, that's so beautiful. Yes. Do you remember, like, maybe 15? Ikebana, algo así. Yeah, we, yes, but I, maybe you don't remember, but like 15 years ago, there was they they caught a family of Vietnamese, the complete family, mother, father, mm. the two mothers, the two fathers, the son, the grandmother. It was no. like they, but I don't remember. They paid they paid a coyote. And I don't know, I don't know how they they came from Vietnam and in Panama and in Panama, they were going to come to El Salvador, El Salvador to Mexico, blah, blah. And in and, and El Salvador, los agarraron. And, and um, it was very sad because they deported them in El Salvador. And they couldn't speak no Spanish, no Spanish. Yeah. And I remember that. I uh, remember that. I remember that that's new. You remember that? It was so sad because yes. Cuatro Vision, they went to visit them and they were doing... <laughs> exactly. They were doing a lot of handcraft. 
and they say, please, please let me stay in your country. I will work. And um, many people took food to them and, and everything, but I think they deported them. It was sad. But that's art. They were art because they were making some beautiful things. That, that, was the, that was the only way they connected. They spoke with people because it's like, give me the newspaper. They point like, and they gave him the newspaper and they like, I think made a turkey <laughs> from the newspaper. <laughs> okay, listen to the second paragraph. It says, the popular website crafter.org is a great source for those who love to make things. And people from all over the world post photos of their craft, often with step-by-step -step instructions or other, there are also thousands of blogs that feature photographs of handmade items. Blogs by people who make them and tips and resources for crafter. Now, class, let me tell you one thing. Yes or no, this is boring. Yeah. Yes? Yeah. yeah. For me, yes. For me too. <laughs> because we don't care because we don't care about crafting yeah so remember the first day i recommended you one thing i remember i told you that the human we like to talk about two things things we know and things we like mm -hmm. yes so i recommend you when you want to practice yourself <clears throat> and you want to read, read something you like. Okay. Yes. If you like Mickey Mouse, read a story about Mickey Mouse. If you like La Bella Bestia, read the story, The Beauty and the Beast. But don't read the biography of Tiger Woods. <laughs> Unless you like golf and, and you like tight <laughs> woods, but yes. Yeah. No, I, I understand this is part of the class, but I do understand this boring. It's maybe it's not boring, but we don't care. But this is just to tell you that if you like, if you read what you like, it's easier to understand. Okay. How to make a pupusa, you know. How to make a pupusa. Oh, como? imagine. Oh, yo le digo says, Well, you know what? Let's finish and you will explain that to me. Okay, third paragraph. Uh -oh. These craft blogs were started by mostly young women, but also some men who wanted to share creative ideas with a wider audience. They cover every conceivable type of craft from hand sewn clothing to paper, paper making, book binding to amigurimi. Oh, you started. I think that's it amigurimi, Japanese knit dolls to landscaping. Many of the blogs have a large um, readership and on any given day, some blogs attract hundreds of comments from readers. Our grandmother, a great and great grandmothers would have dreamed that their old fashioned skills would be showcased by fashionable young people on the internet. Once again, this is boring. It's interesting because we're practicing English. But it's boring. So if you didn't understand it, please don't feel bad. Like, no, because really it's not something interesting. But that's that's good for you to learn that when you need when you want to read, read something you like. Yes, read something you like, and it's better. So what is number one here? Making crafts has become a uh, popular among? Fashionable young people. Fashionable young people. On crafters.org, 
people can? Learn how, Learn to, how make to make crafts. Learn how to make crafts, good. Blank are becoming popular for sharing. Craft blogs. Craft blogs. Craft blogs, good. Like making crafts. Both men, Both men and, and, and women. And women. women. Honestly, I never met a man who likes making craft. <laughs> yes, there are yes. men that teaches yes. uh, to 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 really craft. make craft. Yes, they used to knit, knitting too. Oh, really? Okay, well, that's cool. I would like to learn. I mean, that would be cool. The first thing I would learn is how to make a devil. Oh, my I I love I lo like look. I collect I collect um Let's go. skeletons. I have many many, but me hijo me la quitó toda la quebró or something. <laughs> I love, you see, what happened is that my birthday is November 2. Really? Yes. <laughs> and when I was, I, I had there, I had part of my family is Mexican. And mm. So I remember in California, nice. I remember my birth for Mexicans. It's a very, very big day. Yes. So I remember when I was like seven or eight, it was my birthday. You know, they painted my face in calaveras <laughs> and, and, and it was so cool. It was very nice. So it's all like the memories day. that movie. Dead, um, dead day. Yes, yeah, the day of the dead. What is the name of that movie? Um Coco. Coco. Huh? <laughs> Coco. It's really nice. it's, it's similar. It's yes. similar in Mexico. So all my memories as a little kid was November two. It was the day of the dead, not my birthday. So it, uh, you know. So after that I love I love skulls. <laughs> I, I love school for uh, Mexican. Yeah, it's cool. And I like rock music. So, and rock music, they always <laughs> like skeleton. I remember I used to have a neighbor. Yes or no? Do you have neighbors that gossip? Yes. Yes. Wow. Someone's scaring me. I used to have a neighbor that, man, she was really, really interested in other people's life. And I remember, I don't know why in that house where I lived, I have no, no internet, I have no um, signal on my phone. So I had to go speak outside. And, and but I, yeah. yeah. And every time I went, really, that woman, she opened the window and she stayed next to the window. And sometimes I spoke and I look at her like, do you need something? And she she looked at me like, she was like, really? And when I went in my house, she closed the window and she went back. Okay. Wow. Okay. Yeah. So one day. Is the Wi-Fi? Is the Wi-Fi wi for the? No, there was no Wi-Fi in that time. I mean, I'm, it was like 15 years ago. If you had a Wi-Fi in your house, you were rich. But I remember one day that I was out. No, I, I well, I don't think there were smartphones in that time, to be honest. And I was I was speaking, and I you okay okay entonces no me vamos a estar okay bye. But I, I I saw her that she was still listening to me, so I said. So I continued, you know, no, no, we need the goats alive. <laughs> you know, alive. Because we need to drink the blood warm. No, la tenemos que sacrificar vivas. Oh man, she called the police. I may, I may, I, I, I do, I do lo mismo. I oh, you do that? Yeah. <laughs> it's so I fun. Think. It's, it's very fun. Yes, it's so fun. That woman, she, I remember she called the police. The police came to my house. Ah, uh, yeah. Yes. <laughs> and I told, why, why are you, 
Yeah, we receive, but I, you know, I told them you don't have no excuse. I mean, what what is your excuse to be here? <laughs> we received a call. Yes, but I wasn't doing anything. Yes, but you are going to do some satanic rituals. <laughs> and I told him, no, man, it's, it's a via metida right there. <laughs> and when the police were leaving, si quieren vengan, ahí les dejo sangre. <laughs> Yeah, it's fun. <laughs> that woman hated me. You are the black sheep. Oh, yes, I am. <laughs> All right. Probably. so Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, so we finished. Here, yeah. this is what we're going to do now. Okay, today I have heard... I've heard Katya, Sirham, Milton. Well, I see Milton and Maida. I do not know if Miguel is here. Irena, I think I heard her today. Yes. And Maritza. I think Maritza's here too. Yes. Okay. So, regresando al tema de la lectura aburrida. No lo hice para ofender, sino que lo dije para dar un ejemplo. Nunca, no, siempre nos va a costar aprender cosas cuando algo es aburrido, porque no nos, es aburrido porque no nos interesa. Entonces, es bonito aprender cuando algo nos interesa. Okay. Usando un tema que nos interesa. Like, for example, con Milton me he dado cuenta que es soccer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, no, because if I tell you soccer, I see I see you you speak, you use your hands. Blah, blah, and it's true. And, okay, good. But imagine if yeah. I tell you, okay, Milton, explain to me, explain to me Nicolas Telsa's theory. Yeah. <laughs> you like, well, may, maybe you're interested or not, but it's, you know. Like for example, with me, I love, I really love to talk about religions or politics. Likes the yeah. Like, yes, I, I I like to talk about politics and, and religions and history. I love history. I love history too. Who is your favorite person in history? Um Alexander the Great. Oh, okay, good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You know who mine is? Every time I say who my favorite person in history is, people get offended. <laughs> my my favorite person in history is Hitler. Hitler. Yes. But why? Okay, but it's not the, because the the action. Is okay, I hate Hitler. I really, okay. really hate him with all I my understand. Thank you. Thank you, sir. <laughs> but I just really admire. And it's so sad that a person so bad did had so much power in the world that I have never seen a person with that power, but a good person, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. In, in history, there's no person that powerful doing something good, like Hitler was so powerful doing something bad. And it was incredible. Yeah. I really... Oh, yeah, she yeah, yeah. Mind, but yes. Mind the bad. Uh -huh. I wish I wish someday there will be a, a good Hitler. <laughs> you know, <laughs> uh, someone who does something but in like what mover masses, move masses, literally. Yeah. Like Hitler, but for something good. But every time I say that Hitler, oh my god, you're bad. <laughs> <laughs> It's like when I tell people I am atheist, que soy ateo, they automatically think I am satanic. <laughs> and do you know how was called the heal the healer's dog, the healer's mascota? He had two dogs. Exactly. But one of that. Wait, I I, I promise you I do I do know, but I just don't remember right now. I think it was Blondie. Blondie, um, yes. Wait, I think it was. I yes, have but... a, I had a dog that I call uh, 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 Blondie. The same, the same name. It was the same name. Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. 
All right, so let me see. But yes, sorry. But but blonding in Germany, not blonding in, in English. Mm -hmm. Yes, I I call in English. But you know, you know who I think was even worse than Hitler. Um, if you ever want to study history, I think the worst Nazi in history it was Joseph Mengele. Doctor Mengele is the yeah. doctor of the the doctor. The, the, the angel of death that the man that that like an angel son. that man was fucking cruel man that that man uh, is so bad yeah yes uh, uh -huh. the the many people think i hit that in brazil but people do why or why i think I don't, I don't know. I don't but, know. But you I, know, you know, there's something interesting. He was <laughs> obsessed with twins, con gemelos, to making yes. that mix. Exactly. And he did live in Uruguay. And ironically, in where he lived in the town in Uruguay, is the place where more twins are born in Uruguay. <laughs> yeah. So he must do something right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. So let me see. So in this case, let me see. It's really, you know, me siento mal porque no sé quién llamar porque solo veo Sir Hammy Milton. <laughs> so sometimes, um, okay. I'm here. Oh, there's um, me. Miguel, are you, are you cold? Yes, teacher. I very hard, probably. <laughs> why are you Sorry. wearing, why are you, are, really, you're cold? Yesterday, coming, uh, uh, young, entry really? because I, I had very hard. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Oh, there's Katia too. Yeah. Katia, imagine, imagine I am from South Africa. I don't know El Salvador. The only thing I know about El Salvador that is in America is under Mexico. Because the ignorant people in Europe, they, they see America. Mexico and South America. Mm -hmm. okay. I, I see no, I see the end como, hey, I'm from El, where's El Salvador? Oh, Mexico. No, we're not Mexico. Yeah, I mean, it's United States, Canada, United States, Mexico, and South America. <laughs> not everybody, pero es como nosotros que los coreanos, vietnamitas, todos son chinos. <laughs> <laughs> I am Korean. Yeah, so it's chino. I'm Chinese. Okay, so imagine I am from South Africa. All I know that El Salvador is in Central America. So I want you to explain to me what is a pupusa, but I want you to explain to me in a simple, the, the, the don't give me a, a, a technical explanation. Remember when I explained to you, there are two explanations, the technical explanation and the logical explanation. So tell me, what is a pupusa? Uh, pupusa, it's um, um, a little, I don't know how to say mas. Masa. Donut. Dough. De ahí viene la palabra donut. Dough. Uh -huh. Of corn. Um, with a chicharrón. Pork. Pork inside. And with uh, salts, uh, tomato salts, and cortain. I don't know how to say cortido. Coleslaw. Um, on the over the 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 tortilla. Pupusa. Okay, so then a pupusa is corn dough with pork. Tomato sauce and a tortilla. Yes. Hmm. Now imagine me that I am from South Africa. I am thinking in my mind the plate. Uh, it's difficult. So, so this, no, 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 I understand, but it, it's not difficult because let me explain to you what is a pupusa. And okay. I will, I will, I will explain it in vocabulary that you normally use. The typical food from my country. 
Uh huh. Okay, like and for example, okay, go ahead. You can eat with tomato sauce, and you can you can enjoy it with a soda or chocolate or coffee. Yes, and but you're not but you're not telling me what a pupusa is. A pupusa. You're telling me what you do with a pupusa. <laughs> I um the pupusa prepare without and you move the dough in a big bowl, then you prepare with cheese or pork or beans and you put so I a, so I mix the dough, I mix all the dough with beans and pork and, and cheese, the complete now, dough. First you Put in your hands uh, a bowl of dough, and then you how do you say tor uh, tortear? <laughs> so I put in my hand a bowl of dough. Okay, here's the bowl. Yes. Then okay. you so here you put he... in the dough cheese, pork, and beans. Okay. So I put the cheese, and... pork, beans. Beans. Then uh, you. Sara, listen to what you're telling me. You put in your hand a bowl of dough. Yes, a uh, one bowl. El perol, el, el... <laughs> no, no, you put a big bowl of the dog. Dog or dough? Dough. 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 Yes. dough. Donut. Dough. Then, in the dough, you put cheese, pork, or beans. Okay, good. Thank you, Sara. But you tell me how to make a pupusa. What well, this is more or less what I'm. So I can I will ask you another example. So if you ask me, what is a pupusa? Okay, a pupusa is a a round tortilla made from dough with pork, beans, and cheese stuffed inside. Do you understand more or less? Do you, do you, because I, you yeah. know, you need people to get the visual. So what, what is a pupusa? Oh, it's, it's a round tortilla with beans, right? I'm, I'm sorry, beans. Uh, ¿Qué más? And Cheese pork. and pork. pork stuffed. Esa es la palabra quizá nueva. Stuffed. Oh my God. Inside. What is stuffed? It's, 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 it's similar a gorditas. Yeah. What is, is stuffed? Stuffed. 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 Uh, what, what is a chile relleno? It's a green chili with meat stuffed. Relleno. relleno. Stuffed. Uh, okay. Stuffed. Here, let me, let me. Who has COVID? Miguel. Miguel has COVID. Yeah. Oh my God. I'm sorry, I started being on chat. Oh no. Okay, so do you understand? But very good, Sara. Thank you. Thank you for um, that explanation. Because next is, oh, okay, how do you make that tortilla? How do you make a pupusa? Oh, or when do you eat it? Muchas cosas, right? Like, you know. Um, una vez me, me agarró un alumno, me dice, ah, okay, teacher, entonces, ¿cómo se dice alboroto? Yo me quedé, man. Explíqueme qué es alboroto. Yo me it's kind of difficult to explain alboroto. Yes, because it's a candy, no? With yes. pork, pork, it's a pork and, car with pork, with sugar, pork honey. Yeah. with honey, yeah, with uh, yeah, de dulce honey. Uh -huh. So, uh -huh. and me quedé, okay, me, me quiso retar, yo me quedé, okay. No, but it's good. I, I, I love, yes. I have a problem with my audio because in my house it's raining. Oh, right okay. Now. 
Oh, good. You know, that's good. And I hear, and I hear, uh, and I hear you slow. You hear me like an Android? Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, Sarah. No problem. No, Sarah, that's me. That's me. <laughs> okay, so back to the um, Alboroto. So I said, okay, so I was, I had many ideas, like you had many ideas explaining to me what is a pupusa. And you wanted to tell me many things because I saw your hands move. <laughs> I saw Katia move. So me quedé, okay, I will go back to the basic. And I and I told him, okay, alboroto. I know. Alboroto is sweet popcorn. From sweet made, popcorn. Sweet popcorn made from brown sugar. Wow. Okay. Yes, porque dulce atado is brown sugar, right? <laughs> okay. Yeah, so I mean, they like, okay, so, oh, what, what is alboroto? Because if I try to explain to that a person from, I don't know, Cambodia, que es alboroto, I, you know, it's like, okay, you get the popcorn and then you do this. And but, then you you, make... but you can explain the, the, the form to teacher. Yes. <laughs> okay, good. So good alboroto. Name. Many popcorns together and make a bowl. Yes, so yeah, I go alboroto is like a big ball of of popcorn mm -hmm. made from brown sugar. Mm -hmm. So it's a sweet popcorn. Mm -hmm. So maybe that person now, uh, but that person has an idea now. Okay, so it's a big popcorn with brown sugar. Yeah, you continue like the conversation. But if you if you say Oh, you, you put the popcorn and then you put atado. Viene la pregunta, what is atado? <laughs> uh, atado is a candy. Okay. Es como de menta? No, it's sweet. Oh, como uh, miel? No, it's... Uh, uh, <laughs> uno se va trabando, you know. That. Mm -hmm. So, remember, go back to the basic. Hay una cosa que se llama kiss. Keep it simple and stupid. Manténlo <laughs> simple. Manténlo Simple y tonto. El ejemplo. Uh -huh. Not you. Not you, okay? No, I have to say So remember that. Kiss. When you want to explain something, it's like, um, yes or no, the doctor, when he explains something to you, lo hace como visual. Le dice, por ejemplo, si este es su pie, esta parte es el dedo, y aquí está el bla, 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 bla. He's really using a, a very simple form to explain. Yes? Yes. En vez de decir, sí, la parte del tendón superior izquierdo donde está el toro, blah, 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 blah. He's going to give you that technical explanation. He will give you a kiss. He will, he will give you a very simple and stupid explanation because simple and stupid, you understand. ¿Cómo aprenden los niños? You know, like, uh, head and shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Pero decir, this is head, this is a shoulder. No, lo hacen con señas. All right, so um, remember that. So always try to explain it in a very simple way. Lástima porque hubiera querido que todos me explicaran algo de su trabajo o su profesión. But Miguel, you have you have COVID? Yes, teacher. Man, now everybody's getting COVID, huh? Did you did you have COVID before? No, teacher. It feels occasion. Um, but but you have your injections and everything, correct? Yes, I am um, medicaments because I had tape fever. Oh, okay. Uh, Yes. I think that but vaccine uh activate it say uh it has a problem because all people sick for um, for two time for the sick uh for the glue for the flu sorry because 
in the last week I am sick. In the no day, another time six. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, but I think that's evolution because think about it. Now 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 you see many people with no masks. Also, the wow. the the the, inje the injection I, is not guarantee you that you will not get COVID. The injection is defense, is to help you. Yeah. But in my case, I use my mask all day because when I when I uh, went to my job. Mm -hmm. I use my mask. When I take a bus, I use my mask. In my work, I use my mask. But ah uh, no. Yeah. I have three three um how do you say incapacidad? Three absences of work. Three absences of work. Mm -hmm. In other words, I think it's my four. <laughs> yeah I mean it depends on your defense look what how I see it oh man lo que yo le digo cuando yo interpreto there are many people uh, the doctors in the United States they always ask before sorry, do you have your injections do you have your injections no no yo no creo en eso eso está blah 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 whatever whatever <laughs> my conclusion is if doctors put their injection why not me <laughs> 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 yes, the, my brother is a doctor, so I told him, should I get the injection? He says, look, every doctor is getting an injection, and doctors are specialists in, in that. And there's a reason for that. Aflijita si ni los doctores se lo están poniendo, no te lo pongas. Yeah, and it's true. In, in the United States, los doctores como piden esa inyección. So I don't know, but... Uh, now, but what I see now is that now that many people have COVID, it's kind of like normal, like a normal flu or a bad flu, like a big fever. And But if you remember the symptoms of COVID two years ago, they were totally different. Yes. Yes. Man, a mí me dio, solo me faltó estar ciego, but me dio todo, <laughs> todo, 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 man. So. <laughs> Yeah, so that's on the phone. <laughs> yes. I thought I was really, I thought I was going to die for like for, for, no, there were moments, there were moments that you think you were going to die because uh, yeah. the pressure, you were scared. You see the news. Oh my God. Mm -hmm. People dying everywhere. And then psychological. Like, yes. Intimidation. It's like today. Oh my God. I can't smell. I can't smell. Oh my God. The next day, oh man, I can't, I can't. O sea, every, every symptom, every day was a new symptom. <gasps> oh my God, this is progressive. I'm going to die. I'm really going to die. Uh -huh. And, and the doctors always called me, can you breathe? Do you get tired? <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. me da miedo. Sí. me faltaba para go to the hospital. <laughs> Okay. But now that's why that's why I took the injections. I I, I don't care, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Con que saben que en Estados Unidos, bueno, sí, lo que creen en, en vacunas, no sé si está haciendo eso acá, pero se lo piden a los doctores, le recomiendan a los adultos mayores de 50 que tienen alguna enfermedad, no grave, pero diabetes o cosas así, siempre seguir inyectándose por lo menos cada seis meses la la de refuerzo. Uh -huh. La de refuerzo. Siempre le dicen, look, it's optional, but we recommend you to um, people that are over 50 that have a special diagnosed. At least you should always, every six months. Porque the, recom se la, the, se recommendation, la... the recommendation for Miguel is take Don Julio medicine. Uh, Miguel, are you are you in quarantine? Yes, yeah, teacher. I okay. <laughs> you know, I'm really sorry you are sick, but my recommendation is enjoy it. Yeah. Really enjoy it. You will never be alone like that again. <laughs> drink a lot of water. Yes, drink water, but enjoy. I mean, enjoy like for two weeks, you will have no responsibilities. Watch TV <laughs> all day, go to sleep, wake up, go to sleep, mm -hmm. eat. 
It's a perfect vacation. <laughs> but if he has to make hung office teacher. <laughs> yeah, are, are you working? Miguel? Uh, hi, teacher. Are you working? No, teacher. I have uh, 10 days in capacity. Mm -hmm. that, okay, good, man. Yes. Enjoy. Yeah, I'm sorry you're sick, but enjoy those 10 days. <laughs> okay. Be positive. Be positive. Say, I don't have 10 days of incapacity. I have 10 days of vacation paid. Yeah, because he has 50 days of medical disability. Yeah. Watching Viking, Viking, watching Viking in the Netflix. And did you get the watch Breaking Bad from from <laughs> yeah. Miguel? Breaking Bad, El Camino, El Camino. Yes. And Stranger Things. Okay, yeah, it's time. Te puedo mandar una lista de programas que ver. Okay. I watched almost every movie in Netflix. Yeah. Okay, class. Uh, <laughs> thank you very much. It was fun. It was fun teaching you. Please have a very safe vacation. Thank Don't go so out if it's necessary because yes, many people are getting sick. Yes. But I don't know when the government said it's not an obligation to wear a mask. It's like personas creo que oyeron es obligación no usar mascarilla or something. Because if you notice now, every month there is a concert. Thousands of people go to that concert. Mm -hmm. La feria viene. It's it's impossible not to get sick. Yeah. Yes. So be careful, okay? Have Thank a you, wonderful teacher. weekend. Thank, Thank you for teacher. everything, Hello. teacher. You're welcome. Thank, Thank you. you. See you, teacher. And, and remember, when you study, if you if you want to practice your reading, if you want to practice your listening, do it with things you like. Thank you. Okay, teacher. Yes, it's 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 Thank better you. like that. Okay. 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 Bye bye. Thank you. Okay. Good night. Bye, bye. Bye, bye. bye teacher. Bye.